everyone. Thank you for joining our Facebook Live again today. Um, hopefully you keep coming back for more of them. <laughs> um, so today the plan was I was going to do these cat cookies and then I did a collaboration um, just the other day. What was it two days ago? With a group of uh, different cake, uh, not cake artists, food artists. So they do like loads of different things in food. Um, and we each had to make like a letter that spelled out um, a nice few sentences, wasn't it? About sort of staying safe and playing with your food. Um, really just to encourage people to do more with food. Um, and from that, actually, people seem to really like the letters. So I changed my cat idea to actually we'll do something with the letters. Um, I don't know how many of you guys saw these online so I made the word play in different letters originally my plan was to do them with cookies but I never got around to making the cookies so they were without but since I've been baking I did some baking yesterday I know you're all surprised because I've been so lazy I haven't baked anything for ages I burnt a lot of what I baked as well um I they only needed to be in the oven for about like five minutes and I left them in for 10 and burnt everything but that's fine so I've completely gone off track what I was telling you again. Oh yeah, so the collaboration, I would go check it out. It's There's too many people in it for me to name, but if you have a look on my pages, you, you'll see on everyone's LinkedIn and people do things with apples, bananas, all healthy food, mashed potato, pita you're breads. Trying, you're trying to say cakes are healthy? No, they're not Richard, not, not our cakes. <laughs> Especially not when I ate most of the uh, cookies last night. Um, but yeah, have a, have a little look online, but. Like I say, I made the word play. I don't know if Richard's got the shot from above to actually show you it from above. Yeah. There we go, so the word play. So you can do it in fondant. So like, I collected a nice collection of fondants together so that they, you had a nice idea of colors. I thought these colors all worked really nicely together. Um, for the fondant, use these if you're putting it on cookies or things that are bigger. So they'd be ideal for like my bigger cookies and stuff. But when I did the letters without the cookies, in the fondant they wouldn't be strong enough, so we did those in modeling paste. Okay, so again, oops, I don't know if you guys can see the modeling paste on the table or not. I've got some modeling paste again. I'm just gonna use the pre-colored ones because it makes my life a lot easier. Um, and I get a lot less food coloring all over my hands. But you can just use white and you can mix it color-wise. If you're using the modeling paste, like use one that's got a cocoa butter in because it won't set hard. So actually, if you are putting it on cookies, so I have actually still used that on my smaller bits and pieces. I don't know if you can really see them. I made that one last night, so that'll be a little bit firmer. Um, if you're doing that in fondant, again, it's very small and you can you can do it in fondant, but um, I tend to squash it when I'm sticking it on. So I've, stick, I've stuck to the modeling paste for this. Let's put that down somewhere out of the way. Now I've done a few different bits and pieces ready because what I want to do is just some color on them at the end as well. But when I've only just made them, um, I end up with bits of water on and then when you try dusting colour it gets stuck. So I'm going to leave some stars to one side. So for the video, we're going to do some that are just um, modelling paste without any biscuits on the back or cookies. Uh, and then we're going to do some on the cookies. So with the cookies, I made some star shaped ones. This comes in loads of different sizes. So this one I thought was really good. To do in fact I'll get Emily to put the links up to all the cutters and things that I used so that's given me quite a big variety of different star sizes with these cookies okay that's my it's, it's not the biggest one but that's like the medium sized one so there's loads of different ones you see I just half did that just before we went live so that I could show you a bit more on it later um, we're going to be using some little sugar pearls these ones are chocolate in the middle and then these ones are just like you sprinkles mix, ice cream sprinkle mix, it's called that one. Um, again, I'll get Emily to link the things that we're gonna use so that you guys can see what it is. Um, the biscuits, now I should have really gone bigger. I thought, oh yeah, because I'm writing out a lot of words, if I keep them small, um, there's not too, too much, but actually they're so, so small that it's quite difficult. And I used the little plunger cutters for cutting out my little cookies. The only thing is you can't roll your cookies overly thick, otherwise you won't be able to cut them out very well. In fact, shall I show you what I used for those? That's just in case anybody wondered, it's just those. They are good actually. I used to use those a lot, didn't know when I was doing cakes, but there is a bigger size. Do you want to pass me those ones? These ones probably would have been better for doing the cookies because these are a nicer size for me. Um, 
but these are the shop ones that are unopened and Richard won't let me open any more things from the shop because I open everything <laughs> and then I sometimes only use them once <laughs> but they would have been better for my for my cookies also it'll probably just be me and Richard eating these so <laughs> me and Richard it'll be you eating them all you ate loads last night and a couple of the burnt ones that you didn't yeah want. you got the burnt ones Richard was allowed to eat the burnt ones he wasn't allowed the ones that weren't burnt but you can have some of these when we're finished See, these are almost healthy because they're so small, there's nothing in them. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got people all over the world again today. We've got Australia, we've got oh, India. Oh, fantastic. We've got a few from Italy. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. That's brilliant. What time is it in Australia? Uh, is it almost like the opposite of here? Roughly, I think it's Roughly. Like it depends. Australia's quite big. So oh, yeah, it depends whereabouts in Australia. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so if you're doing it on cookies, guys, what I would do is take the same cookie cutter that you've used. Now, did I pull one out of the pack that was for one of these letters? Ah, there we go, I did. Now, if your cookies are bigger and thicker, they usually like rise and spread a bit in the oven. So then they end up sticking out a little bit beyond your uh, cutter. But because I made them so thin and so small, they didn't really spread much. So they're gonna be about the same size as this. Okay, so usually what I would do is roll out some modeling paste. I did this earlier. I started prepping like before you guys came on. It's a really good idea for rice manufacturer to make pre well, I think they used to do um, pre-rolled out fondant. Did they? Yeah, do you not remember my first ever cake that I decorated for your mum was the pre-rolled out fondant. Really? Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare. Okay. It didn't work very well. <laughs> right, okay. So I've rolled it as, as thin as I can really go. So this is why for these ones, modeling paste is better because if you're rolling it nice and thin, it's going to break if it's just fondant, okay, so that's why we've gone with this. I might even go just a little bit, a little bit thinner still, because I don't want too much on the biscuits, especially because the biscuits are small. And of course, if you prefer, you can do it in royal icing. I'm just, because I'm used to working in like fondant and modeling paste, I'm not as good with royal icing. Okay, so press firmly. With these ones, they push out the top, so it pops the letter out for you. So I'm just gonna move that to one side. Now for sticking it on, if it's a bigger cookie, I have to scrape or spread a tiny bit of royal icing on the back, but because it's so small, it's difficult for me to get it on there. So I'm gonna just put a bit of water, but I don't want too much water, otherwise it will make the cookie go soggy. And the ginger biscuits that I made, did I mention it was ginger biscuits? It did write down the recipe for you guys as well, which I will sort out somehow getting it online for you. I'll maybe put it on the Facebook page this afternoon. Yeah. Okay, so water on the back, just make sure it's not soaking wet and it just feels slightly tacky. Okay, so you have to be very gentle with them. And then we're just gonna place it on. If the edges look a little bit untidy, just rub the edges a little bit. I'm just using my Dresden tool to just nudge in those edges. Because plastic cutters often don't give you quite as sharp a cut as like a metal one. There we go, okay. And because these small ones, are just so small it's really easy to squash them and break them so i did them about half an hour ago would you say half an hour ago just so that they had a tiny bit of time to firm up before i added the eyes because it's very fiddly so can you see on my big letters the eyes are big there's and there's mouths and there's loads of other details on things that are so small we're just going to keep it really simple this one i managed to get little eyelids on these ones I didn't quite get eyelids on, but I only just stuck those eyes on, so the eyes will fall off if I give them eyelids straight away. So I'm gonna want some white. I will do bigger letters than this as well. I'm starting, I'm starting with nice and easy because they're all pre-cut out for us, and we're not adding too much detail to these ones. I might not even dust extra color on these. So the bigger ones have got color and things dusted on the small ones. We may or may not put colour on, we'll see. We're going to make some of these big ones later anyway, aren't we? Yes. Then you can show the dust in with those. Yes, I'm going to do NHS. In the and small. Yes. But I realise it's not the NHS, is it, in other countries? But obviously you guys could do whatever word you wanted. Then you just need to decide where you want the eyes to be. I might put the eyes about the middle of this one. Because NHS is handy because it's only a short word. <laughs> yes. I was going to put all key workers, but that was just too many letters for me. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of white. With my eyes, I tend to go one big, one small. But you don't have to. I just thought it made it a bit goofier looking. And I liked it looking a bit goofy. And then we're going to put them on there together. 
I've covered the hole in the letter A, but that doesn't matter. Okay. If it feels a bit unsturdy and they feel like they're going to drop off, so especially if you've put them near the edges, they're more likely to kind of knock off. Give them 10 minutes to uh, firm up before you draw on them. I don't think that was in shot, was it? These ones are right in the middle, so they feel like they're fairly firm. So I'm just going to use an edible pen. And then I'm going to draw an oval in each eye in the black. Which direction should we have it looking in? I'm going to do it looking a bit bog-eyed. So I do them both in towards the middle. Then I want to just leave a little circle of white in each eye. So it looks like the light reflecting. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that. I probably shouldn't have gone with something so small, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna move this down Okay, Richard's just gonna move the camera down a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so you can leave them with or without the little eyelids. So I might give it eyelids actually. Let's give it eyelids. I'm just going to put my white back in the bag and I want a tiny bit of the colour of my letter which needs a bit of warming up. My hands are pretty cold. Like, it's really sunny here but it's freezing in our little cake shop, isn't it? It's really cold and my fingers are cold so they're not putting much heat into the modelling paste for me to get it going. Come on. Wait, if I try the middle of my hand is warmer. You can see where I was rolling out blue earlier. Look, just before we came on the Facebook Live I was rolling out the blue for the NHS and it's all over my hands still. Okay, it feels like it's warmed up a tiny bit. So let's kind of get a sausage shape and squash it. I'm basically wanting a curve on the ends. And then I'm gonna cut it. It is a little bit of guesswork, so it might not fit exact. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of water on the back of it. And then I'm really carefully gonna, oops, drop it. Try and get it on the top of my eye like that and then see if we can bend it around a little bit just poke it in there with my dresden tool like say if the white bits feel like they're going to move when you're doing this just give them five minutes work on some other cookies biscuits or lettering while you're waiting for these to firm up can you see that i didn't get it quite far enough around there yeah, but i think it's okay it's okay for me anyway Now, if you let the paste get too hard when you're doing this, you won't be able to bend it around. Oop, come off my finger. So again, just give it a little poke in place. Stay down. You couldn't have gone any smaller, could you? No, <laughs> I'm struggling at this size to be fair. <laughs> I wish now that I'd just opened the other set of letters. <laughs> okay, so really carefully i'm going to try and catch the black pen along the very edge oops i caught it a little bit there it's a bit messy just along the very edge of the eyelid again if you struggle with this you don't have to do this bit can you see how unsteady my hands are <laughs> can't keep my hands still probably doesn't help that i'm in your face with the camera yeah richard has got the camera right under my nose but it is small it is oops awkward this one's got a really thick line on Maybe thicken the other one up to match. Yeah, that went a bit thick, but that's okay. I decided these ones didn't really need mouths. What we're going to have to ask you what you do is if they fancy having a go at these themselves, posting and tagging us in all the uh, pictures of Oh yeah, of see what phrases and words you guys can make yeah. with yours. Did any of you guys see the food collaboration we did that said sort of stay safe, stay home, play with your food? It's worth looking at, and it is worth looking at everybody's pages. Um, like I say, people carve avocados, apples, bananas. They really do all kinds of really cool things with food. Things like this. Can you see that? So that's yeah, it's an good, apple. isn't it? Yeah, they're really good. And pies, pies, pies and cupcakes, pies. all sorts of really <laughs> good things. Right, you've put me off track with what I was doing next. Right, okay, so there are small letters. Again, we're gonna keep to something fairly simple. So let's just do a star. Oh no, wait, I haven't rolled out any yellow. Oh yes, I have. There's a tiny, tiny bit of yellow left. That I've I'm gonna go for a smaller star because it's a tiny bit of yellow. Did I put the small cookie cutter down somewhere? I always try and be prepared. I'm not very prepared still, am I? No matter how much I try, I forget things. Okay. 
but these would be quite nice on um, like names for cakes and things so it doesn't have to just be like cookies um, but also like the numbers I did a number I burnt the number five though this is probably the least burnt number five that I did as well <laughs> I don't know why I went for number five I like the shape of a number five what, 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 they, what would the stars be good for as well? Because what were we outside? I just like the stars. What, what were we out doing last night at 10 o'clock? Oh, we were watching stars and satellites. Did anybody else see that? Was it all over the world you could see it or just in the UK? I'm not actually sure. But in the UK, yeah, there was... Um... Oh, phone. Okay, so a bit of water on the back. So can you see it was the same size as the cookie that I cut out? This one actually probably could have got away with a bit of royal icing on there because if you do put too much water on, oh, that's the answering machine you can hear in the background. Um, yeah, if you put too much water on it, it's just going to make it soggy. You are going to have to be careful with how hard you press on things though because if you do press really hard, um, it's going to snap your cookie. Okay, should we make this one happy or sad? Let's go happy. Okay, I'm going to give this one a great big mouth. Oops. I went not where I wanted to go. So I'm pressing firm-ish, but not so firm that I'm gonna break the cookie. Watch me break the cookie now, I've said that. Okay, <laughs> this person really wants to get hold of us. We don't normally ignore the phone, by the way. We do usually answer the phone to people. It's only because I'm doing the Facebook Live that it's just making it a bit awkward for us to answer the phone. It's probably somebody stood outside the door waiting to deliver something to us. So I've put some little lines above and below. And because it hasn't got any shading or anything on yet, it looks a bit weird, but later when we give it some shading, it's going to look nicer. Um, and with the stars, and I, again, I haven't finished this one yet, but you can see, I thought they looked quite nice if we had like the sugar pearls and stuff, a bit like I did on the letter Y. Can you see? So these are like the chocolate filled ones, and then the smaller ones are just the, the sugar pearls. I call them sugar pearls. They're not, what's the proper name? I can never, I don't know how you say it. Draggy, draggy yeah. or something. Something like that. They yeah. should just be called sugar pills because you know what they are. So you can add some of those to it if you want. The big ones, they're probably a bit big, aren't they, for this size one? Yeah, let's go small. Looks like his warts. Nice, nice middle size, yeah. Which one? Oops, they didn't stick that one very well. You mean the bigger one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Is that the one you mean? Oh, I don't know, is that too big for this one? We'll see, and there's tiny little yellow ones as well. The other day I actually spent ages picking out the tiny, tiny ones, but you guys will get really fed up of watching me just pick out tiny pearls. Wait, let's see if one sticks to my brush, if one sticks to my brush. No, no, it's not happening. It's not gonna stick to my brush. I'm gonna add another one here. And of course, you don't have to add these if you're worried about them being quite crunchy, because they are pretty, pretty hard on your teeth. Don't add them. Or you can roll the balls in um, fondant if you prefer. Let's do this when it's eyes up near the top. I think. Play around with where you put the eyes as well. I don't know how well you can see on the letters, but some I did low, some high, middle. I really, and I guess, I guess the same with the small ones. So it's nice to have a bit of a play around with them. So let's go for more eyes again. When I've done this, I'm going to put this one to one side and then we're going to freehand some letters. So, do we have big eyes or tiny eyes on this one? I'm gonna go with this size because it's what I've pulled off already. I don't wanna re-roll. Just make sure one's a little bit bigger than the other. Now the only thing is my fondant, oh, not fondant, my modeling paste is getting a little bit sticky. And sometimes when it gets a little bit sticky, bits of fluff get stuck in it. So to avoid that, you just really want some corn flour. Do you know what, I'm gonna move them actually a little bit higher up. I'm gonna have his eyes so they stick up slightly. Should we bring in some other stars? Yeah, if you want. So at the moment they look a bit weird because they haven't got all the dusting on, which makes a big difference to them really. Um, okay, so what was I going to do? I was going to give him some little bags under his eyes. I don't think I'm going to fit Daddy's star in. Give him some little bags. You don't have to do bags if you don't want to either. And then I want a little bit of yellow for his eyelids again. It is actually much easier the bigger. The bigger you go, the easier it is to get the eyelids on them. <laughs> oh, this one I give some teeth as well. So this one I did a sad face and then I give it some teeth so it matched, matched my letter yellow. My yellow. It's not the letter yellow, it's the letter L. Okay. So. Belinda, Belinda loves listening to you. Does she? Yeah. Do you know, Belinda, I hate listening to myself. 
<laughs> when people ask if I watch and check back the YouTube videos, I don't watch them at all. Yeah, for all, all of our videos that we ever have, Zoe has never actually watched any of them through. And it makes me cringe. I can't, I can't watch them. <laughs> it really does make me cringe listening to my voice. And I get a lot of messages from people saying, oh, we like to listen to your uh, YouTube videos on an evening because they send us to sleep. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I realise people do listen to my voice because it's a bit of a boring voice and it sends them to sleep on an evening. I'm not saying a thing. Everything sends you to sleep. Okay, so can you see, I've tried to kind of wrap it around the eye a little bit, but also you can see I've put it at a slight slant. So having the eyelid, so it kind of, hang on, let me cut a bit more off this one. So the bottom of it is either straight or slanted kind of that way. Um, is better than having it the other way because if I do it the other way, they look angry. So can you see when I tilt it? Go on, then you rough camera. This way. Sorry. Oops, sorry. That's because you're not concentrating on your job, are you, Richard? I have a million and one jobs. Okay. So again, we're just going to try and push that around. It's maybe a bit big around that edge, but it would be okay. So can you see the angle, like kind of going down like this and like this? It makes them look either a bit dopey or sad. But if I had it the opposite way and it was coming down in the middle, they'd look really angry. I feel like I should do an angry one on the next one just so you guys can see what I mean. Although I was gonna do the NHS letters next, so maybe it shouldn't be an angry one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe we'll have this one looking down. So I'm gonna put the oval in downwards. Remember, leave a small circle of white there. That we're not colouring in. Uh, let's do this one a little bit smaller. And because they're just cartoony and a bit comical, it doesn't matter if they're looking in different directions and things, it's it's okay. Yeah, and they'll look a lot nicer, I think, when we get some colouring on, won't they? Okay, so, oh, wait, this one needs eyes. Which direction? Down, but to the side. So no. the bigger one's just made in the same way, isn't it? Yeah, it's obviously. exactly the same way. But, oh, I've given him teeth. No, actually, I forgot. I gave him two layers, but you might want to just draw a line. So on that smile, I drew a line in. On this one, can you see it's actually two layers of paste? So I cut out two stars, and then I cut a curve off the bottom of one of the stars and stuck just the bottom over the top. But it is doubling up the thickness of your uh, modeling paste, so maybe don't do that if you don't like the taste of it too much. I'm going to do this one. Yeah, he's looking in again. Maybe this one could have, because he's got big eyes. I'm gonna give him two little, two little white bits in his eyes. Have I still got it in shot, Richard? Yeah, you still in shot. I move things further and further down here, and you guys can always see what I'm doing. And of course, if you don't wanna color them in, it's fine, you can stick it on in black fondant or modeling paste, and, and that works just as well. But because I was doing some really small ones, I, the pen's easier when I'm doing small, and I might as well then use that for all of them. We have a uh, we have a, a friend that was over in the Philippines with us. Oh right. Well, Margarita online. Uh -huh. Hi, Margarita. Oops, I've not left much space for my white dots in this one. How's everybody finding it at home? Is everyone managing okay? Are many of you guys still at work? I know we've got quite a few. Um, a few people that are nurses and things, aren't they, that, that watch the videos. I think most of the world's still on some form of lockdown. Yeah, but some people are still working now, is what I mean. Like, are people yeah. still working or are people... We're still working. ...bored at home or busy at home? Isn't it funny? I actually thought, oh, I kind of was looking forward to... Not that I should say it's a good thing, it's not at all. But I was kind of looking forward to having some time to like play around with different things at home, but it hasn't really turned out like that, has it at all? I've ended up so busy with stuff that all my to-do list of just things I wanted to play around with, yeah, it's getting longer and it's not really happening. I'm not getting anything done on my list. Oh, do you know what you could mention whilst we're here? Um, what? what you do on Saturday? What did I do on Saturday? What do we do next Saturday? What's going live this Saturday? Cake International. Oh, Cake International. I forgot about Is that this Saturday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cake International. Um, so you know how they, normally there's Cake International in London? And obviously, because of the coronavirus, people can't go to it. So it's going to be like an online event instead. And they're doing um, Facebook Lives. So I'm getting to do a demo on that. And I'm doing a Facebook Live 
on it. I'm going to move these out of the way a second. Um, what time? Am I 11 o'clock? Well, I've forgotten. We get Richard to look up what time. Um, I think Molly Robbins is hosting. She's always a really good host. Um, yeah, and I'm going to decorate a cake. Next Probably time. another dog face again, but different to the last one. You are on at 11 o'clock. And I have the challenge of being able to get it done in 45 minutes. Let's see if I can stick to time or not. I probably won't be able to because I'm rubbish at sticking to time. Okay, so I've showed you some on some biscuits. Even if you're doing freehand, you could still create a biscuit that matches it freehand. Okay, just probably want to make yourself a template on paper first and then cut around your template on your cookie in whatever shape you want it and then also on the icing because this one's not going on a cookie i've can you see i've kept it thicker so you're probably not going to want to i can't tell where i'm in shot richard you've zoomed in so far i can't work it out right, <laughs> i can't work out where it is isn't that funny i can't work out when i move it this way like when i'm looking at the screen i can't work out where i am so in I'm real life we don't have a car no. Okay, so first of all, I kind of rolled it out. It's still like it's still pliable, um, and then I wrote or drew in the line that I wanted. So I'm just going to roll a bit more. Oh no! Do you know what? I left the hardest letter to do the letter S because any of them that are curved are much harder. Whereas when they've got straight lines, it, it makes it much much easier to create the letter if you're doing it by freehand. I realised the other day somebody asked me for templates for these. Um, I don't have templates, I'm afraid. I just make them up as I go along. As with most things that I do, you guys all realise I make them up as I go along. Um, I decided on roughly this size, so mark roughly the size you want your letter to be. So I want it about that height, probably no wider than that. And then, so I'm just using the pointy end of my Dresden tool at first. Let's see, it may or may not work. Mm. Yeah, I don't think my letter S is going to be very nice but I can rub out if I've drawn it in wrong. Yeah, I'm not holding up much hope for the letters. Hmm. This is what I get for choosing the hardest letter to do on screen. Okay, it's fine. It can be fat in some parts, thin in others. When it's got eyes, you're not gonna notice, are you? Hmm. Hmm. It's not as I wanted, but it, it'll do the job. And can you see it did smell it? So that, I'm just going to leave that one for a second while we cut out these. So because it's had a few minutes to firm up, it just means that when I cut, it's not going to drag. So I'll get a cleaner cut in paste that's had a couple of minutes to firm up. I don't mean let it set completely hard, although this won't set rock hard anyway. Um, but when it's really soft, sometimes they kind of try cutting. It drags a bit. didn't actually drag too much then. But it usually drags, especially if I'm doing curves and things. So... By having it just a little bit firmer, just means I get a need to cut. That's a useful tip. You want, sorry? That's a useful tip. Thanks. Okay. If you find... Else wanted to know, these, this is, Zoe uses a lot of them. Um, we always get asked about our knives. Oh yeah, I like my colourful knives. Yeah, so you'll see in a variety of videos, Zoe's got the same knife, but in about 25 different colours, styles, I like this shapes. one, I like the strawberry one, I like the pineapple one. Some of them are, some of the patterns. I don't like the lipstick one. Is it lipstick or the one with lips on? I'm not as keen on that one. Um, I'm not just wasteful and collect hundreds of knives. It's because we use them in classes as well. That's why I have a lot of knives on the go. And if you find that the bigger knife is harder to use, you can use a craft knife. That's fine. These ones are quite good. The reason I like this knife over some different knives is... Can you see where the blade ends here? The handle's higher. When I go teach a lot of places, this handle comes lower than the blade. So when I'm cutting like that, my blade doesn't touch the work surface because this gets in the way. So my blade is kind of like that, but never touches the work surface. So that's why I like these ones. It probably won't make sense to people until they try with like one that's up here and then one where the handle's a bit further down. Does that make any sense at all? Yeah, no, that's good. I didn't actually realise that. I just thought you liked the patterns. No, no. <laughs> no, because they're not all got patterns on all the ones I use, but I do always use this particular brand, don't I? Because this brand and this type, the Kuhn, the Kuhnrick and Paring knife, isn't it? Yeah. 
a bit of a tight squeeze in the small bits. So the smaller bits you might end up swapping a craft knife for. But yeah, straight lines are so much easier. Let's, let's give this one a go. I'm thinking because these are bigger, I can maybe accessorize them a little bit. So I'll cut off some of the edge because it makes it easier for me to work with smaller pieces. I'll just put this in the bag. So remember, you should really keep your paste airtight when you're not using it. Okay, Richard's going to ask you all via a question. He just wants to play around with if he can work out how to put up a question on Facebook Live, I think. Is it like a um, multiple, multiple, not multiple line. choice, a, a voting thing? Yeah, he wants to ask what you want me to make on Thursday. I'm going to swap to a craft knife. In fact, I should have even got a little circle cutter out because a circle cutter would have given me a nice little shape just there. To get into that bit see how much messier this looks but like i say you don't have to free freestyle with it you can just use cookie cutters and letter cutters which will do the job for you oh yeah i don't like the shape of that letter s at all and you can round off any edges as well any untidy bits and you can spend longer doing it than me because I haven't spent very long with that at all. I think maybe if I put some eyes down here on this one, it's going to cover up that part of the S and then it might not look as messy. So, maybe this one won't get a mouth if it's got um, eyes right down there. So I won't have space. Maybe I'll give one eyelashes. I realise my pink one has eyelashes and none of these ones I've given eyelashes to. Right, the question's gone up. Okay. I don't. I don't really know how the questions right. work. There's a, there's a, I've just put a question because it's not the most the easiest thing. What sort of things should we demo on Thursday's Facebook Live? We've got the option of cake, cookie, topper, or cupcake. So at least you can narrow it down to what mm. we're going to do. And then if you want to add comments about any specific type, I've seen a couple of people say superhero themed with, oh, okay. cape, with capes. Okay. So I have seen a few people mention that. Just working out my eye size for my little letter S. Do you think if I cover the whole bottom bit, you're not going to be able to tell it's a letter S though? Uh, we'll see. I'm going to put them down here with a little bit of water on the back of them. Just reading through comments now. I was going to say, if you've got any questions for Zoe as well, you ask away and I'll pick some at random. Hold up. See, I'm just wondering whether my little blue pearls will go on my NHS one. Somebody put, you've got a pretty engagement ring. Thanks. Is that somebody that you know, Richard, that's put that? I don't know. I've just seen it. <laughs> right. Should well, I put I'm pearls on or not? I'm going to... Uh, we'll leave pearls for the next one. Rose said you have a pretty engagement ring. There you go. Thanks, Rose. I think that's somebody from my class. I recognise her name. Is it Rose Rose that always says every time, you won't remember me, Zoe? Yes. <laughs> that Rose, Rose that says that every time. <laughs> I always remember you, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> and the vote's coming in. We've got quite a few toppers, superhero toppers. Tracy said you should add some face masks to the NHS characters. Yeah, I was thinking one with a little hat, one with a mask, and then what are the things called that you. Stethoscope. That's it, that's the word. Maybe <laughs> one of them. Ooh, wait, I don't think I've done this big enough to stretch over the eye. So if it's not big enough, you'll have to stretch. I was going to try and show you what it looked like, wasn't I? If it if it's things went eyelids went the other way. Somebody said you should you should make Richard mate. See, look look how angry that looks now. I don't think I should have an NHS one looking angry, should I? It could just be concentrate. It's a concentrating look. It looks angry. <laughs> just give you time to go thirty five minutes. I haven't been going thirty five minutes already, and yeah. I haven't even started dusting, have I yet, guys? <laughs> You all fed up and bored of me. Yeah. <laughs> actually, look even angrier if I do it. Eyes up. Angela said, "Can we do a mountain in the night cake?" I don't actually know what a mountain in the night is. Is that something you've heard of, Zoe? Uh, no. I have to Google that one. But I, there's not a lot of things I've heard of. <laughs> is it a children's thing? 
maybe. You'll have to Google it. Yeah, I'll look like so. So I'm just colouring in the blacks on my eyes again. Got Tazzy Devil too. What? Tasmanian Devil. Oh, I thought you meant that somebody's username, I sorry. Love, I used to love the Tasmanian Devil cartoon character. We made him once, years ago. Did we? Yeah, a long time ago. Uh, that brings back fun memories. Childhood. When I didn't know that you weren't supposed to make characters for cakes. <laughs> I shouldn't have just said that, should I? <laughs> Yeah, when I first started, I made one. I was really pleased with it. It probably looked really rubbish now if I look back at it, but I was really pleased with it at the time. Okay, this is my angry, angry looking one. What do the hats look like again? I know I made one just the other day and I've already forgotten what they look like. Um, like this, are you putting that type of hats on? Yeah, that's the one. So, hang on, it's like a paper boat. Okay, I'm not gonna fold it like, like I did with this one. This was from an earlier Facebook Live. I'm gonna squeeze. <laughs> there you go, you keep looking at it, you know. Thanks. People can see I didn't actually eat it now, now that you put it there. If I ate them all, I'd be really fat. Um, right, so I'm gonna put a line across here, I think. I realize I'm doing this upside down now and I can't really tell what I'm doing. We're gonna go a line there and there. And then I'm gonna cut that there and there. Maybe it'll look like it, maybe it won't. I don't know. You trolled world characters. Yeah, do you know what? I wanted to do one of them at Easter, didn't I? I was gonna decorate an Easter egg as, as the the baddie. Is it the baddie? I've not watched it yet. Normally I would have watched these things by now, but it's really expensive to hire it. Oh no, what I did it wrong. It doesn't look right. Yeah, that came in my Kinder Egg. <laughs> not, that, not that I eat Kinder Eggs. <laughs> I got a giant Kinder Egg one for Easter. Well, technically I didn't get it for Easter, I just bought it for myself because I wanted to eat it. It looks like a paper bow. It doesn't really look like a nurse's hat. Uh, never mind. It's okay. It will do. It will do the job. So let's put a bit of water on there. Do you want it on that side or that side? It looks like a sailor's hat. Does it look like, <laughs> more like a sailor? Let's put the red cross on the front, then maybe it'll look less sailor-like. Such an angry looking nurse, this one. Okay, I'll find a red pen later and colour that in. Unless Richard wants to find me a red pen. I feel like it's a bit plain here. Do you think I should have added something else to it? Add a bit of dusting and some bubbles. Yeah, I'm gonna add pearls. some. Hmm. Do I want pearls? Do I not? I'm going to give it some hair. Well, not technically hair, but something under its hat. So I'm going to do a bit of water there. And let's roll some teardrops. One teardrop. And let's try and get a slightly smaller one. Let's push them together. Okay, let's give them a little flick. It looks more like water actually, doesn't it, then? Then, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Mm, I don't know if that one wants pearls or if I'm just gonna put pearls on these ones. No, I'm gonna give it a pearl. I'm gonna give it a little beauty spot here. I can push these in much firmer. Um, oh, I can't decide whether to give it any more or not. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another one here. Um, because there's not a biscuit on the bottom, I can press firmer, whereas if you press really hard on the biscuits, they just snap. So I can push that fairly, fairly deep into it. Oh, you got me the red, thank you. Yeah, I think it is gonna look much nicer when it's um, dusted it's with color. Like so just be careful that you don't catch the red into the black too much, because if you're not careful, it can smudge them together. Okay, oh, you got me every color. <laughs> One angry looking nurse. Please don't anybody be offended by that. It was just really so I could play around with it. So 40 minutes in. I wish now that I'd not made it angry. In case anybody tells me off. Okay, I want to do one like with the, can you see how it's got the purple balls at the top? That one I don't think I've got quite enough space so I'm gonna do it on this one. So I'm gonna put some water at the top. So I might not be able to dust it straight away because it'll be quite wet. 
I don't know what I had on me then, but it's just flipped off into there. Yeah, so you said you could have a watch fob. Oh, yeah, could actually. The Good thinking. Well, they're not upside down watches. Are they not? Well, they hold upside down, but they're not. It's not like an upside down clock face. Oh, do you know what? There's not in between any sizes in the blues. There's just big and tiny ones. Okay. Maybe it won't work quite as well. Oh, I could put white in with it actually, couldn't I? Because NHS colours are white and blue. Oops, that one does not want to stick. You can quickly tell that we don't plan these. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not very good at planning things. Everything's on the spot <laughs> with me. That comes with not being organised. I figure like sometimes if I plan it and it doesn't go to plan, I get upset that it's not as it was meant to be. Whereas if I just don't plan it, it doesn't matter as much because it's just however it turns out then. So I'm going to stick a few of these in. Yeah, I actually don't mind the white ones with it because it does match with my color scheme, doesn't it? No one's probably going to eat this though. But it looked quite nice on a cake. So I know that they, the ones where they're just icing without too much other stuff, you probably wouldn't want to eat them. Oh, my blue ones are at the bottom of the pot. Either that or I've no more blue ones in there. Hang on. Let me see if I can mix them up. Yeah, they're all at the bottom of the pot. Oh, there's some actually some in between sized ones at the bottom of the pot. I don't think people want to spend 25 minutes watching you pick them, <laughs> pick them out. Did they not? <laughs> no. Oh, there it is. There's my in between sized one. There we go. And there's some more now. I can, and do you know what? There's little stars on this as well. They're really cute. How many people feel this pain at home when you can't find the quite the colour pearls you want and they're at the bottom of the pot? Well, I thought you were going to say feel the pain as in I'm taking too long. <laughs> oh, I dropped a star on there by accident. Never mind. So if I was just doing this in my own time, um, I would pick out those tiny, tiny blue balls in there and probably put them on as well. Oh, wait, the purple one's out of my colour scheme. I don't want that on there. We'd be here for hours if you were doing it on your own. Yeah, that's what I did with that one. I picked out all the little purple ones. Shall I show you? Can you see the tiny purple ones? I picked them out of this. <laughs> it would have put more on, but I did get, I just got bored of picking them out. That star doesn't, it's not in keeping with my, with my thing. I can't see any more blue ones in there. There are more blue ones, I just I can't get to them easily. Okay, I'm gonna move these to one side because I'll probably knock them over. Or maybe one of them should have a heart. Because that's quite nhs -y, isn't it? Like, well, yeah. a heart for being kind and caring. Where is it? I'm gonna leave that to one side because I can't decide where to put it. Okay, eyes. Mm, right, so this is where I have to put them together to work out. I don't want all the eyes in the same place. So if this one has eyes about the middle, then maybe this one should have eyes closer to the bottom again. I think next week we're going, we're going for a cake topper on uh, Thursday. Oh wait, I need a face mask though. Where's my face mask gonna go? The eyes are gonna have to go around here and I can maybe just about get face mask down there. Sorry, I wasn't listening to what you said. A, I think we're doing a cake topper on Thursday. Oh, okay. 58% of the votes so far, cake topper. Okay, I can't think what type. Something easy. Well, we'll see what they need. Oh, we filmed, what did we film the other day? But we've not got around to editing it, have we yet? Um, what's the game everyone's playing? I don't have a Nintendo Switch though, so I don't play it. Animal Crossroads. Animal Crossing. Is it crossing? I don't know. Animal something. Emily knows. Got a few videos coming. Yeah, we did. So that's another cookie one. And then I did, what was the other cookie one I did? Awesome animals. Awesome animal faces, yeah. I did them ages ago, we just not got round to editing them. I keep meaning to. Time just, just goes by too fast. Okay. Are many people still watching or have I bought everybody yet? No, still got, still got a few hundred watching. Ooh, fantastic. So big and small yeah, eyes again. everybody sleep. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm gonna move out. I was gonna say I'm gonna move that over and then maybe I can give it eyelashes, but it's a bit wet, so I might not actually be able to get the eyelashes in there because they'll smudge at the moment. Eyelids again. So you guys will all remember how to do this now. Where we're gonna just take a bit of a ball or even Ooh, kind of sausage shape. Yeah, then she'll look really tired. Like that one. Yeah. Oh, I could do actually, but then she's not gonna get eyelashes. Maybe this okay, the middle one can have eyelashes then, and this one can have bottom bottom um, eyelids so I'll put a little bit of water on there and again we'll do a little ball we'll squash it 
I just think guys are amazing on characters because you can simple little changes make them look so different. Yeah, it does. So if these had just had black pearls for eyes, they'd look really different to what they do now. And obviously, if you've got loads of time, you can give them like a coloured iris and stuff. They don't have to just have black pupils. But I was going for ease. Easiness oh. on this. <laughs> and of course, if you're like squishing the ball with your fingers, you can just cut out a circle with a circle cutter. If you want to make your life a bit easier. I just forgot to get them off the shelf. Okay, this one's probably going to look a bit tired now. Uh, this one's going to look upwards. Uh, people have said, um, have you got a book yet? No, I've written everything. So it's actually written up now. Um, but I need to work out how I put my pictures together with the text now. <laughs> like I've got all the pictures, I've got all the text. Um, it's just kind of formatting it together. I'm not very good at that. But yeah, so we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, I was going to do it yesterday and I, Richard was at the shop and uh, I rely on Richard to help me try and use Photoshop and stuff because I don't really know how you how you use it or do things with it. That one's got a bit of a wonky shaped eye. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. Okay, so if this one has the little... Should this one have the face mask? Yeah. Okay. Is it just like a square with a bit of string out from either side? Look. I'm not sure if people will approve me describing it as a square with string. I'm just going to put the string just on one side actually because I don't think you're going to see the other side. So let's go nice and thin. Up there, down there. I think just oh, it goes quite high up on the face. Or on that lady on that picture, it does. Isn't it funny how, like, you know what things look like, and then when you come to make it, you can't think. Okay, let's roll this out. Am I still in shot for you? Last in shot. So let's start with a little rectangle, and then we'll check the size against the letter in a second. Does it fit about there? Would you put lines across it? Or would you not? I'm going to stretch out the corners a little bit so it doesn't look too rigid. It just it doesn't quite match with my bit of string now. You look alright like that. Do I need to put string on that side, do we think, or do we think it's alright without? I'd put another string on it. Would you? Where the string is going to go to. Well, it's got a bit of a big face, hasn't it? To get it around. <laughs> like it's going to have to go from here. Mm, no, it'll go up there. That's fine. I just might not be able to put shading on these straight away because I've, um, because I put so much water on them. They need a bit of time to set. Come off my finger. Okay. Uh, let's cut that off there at that edge. Yeah, that's good. Cool. This one, the string's going to go behind the letter. If I can get it behind it, it might not actually go behind, we'll see. So can you see it's firm enough that I can actually pick it up? But it, it won't come off my finger. <laughs> Hang on, let's put that down there. Maneuver you know, that you behind. Mind, you? <laughs> no, some, okay, sometimes I get a bit carried away <laughs> and then I forget that I'm even on a Facebook Live and then I forget to talk to you all. <laughs> and I'll just <laughs> sit in my own little world for a while. Okay, so Next one, which I might do its eyes high up. You'd have to find me a picture of a stethoscope though. Is that what it is, a stethoscope? Did I say the right thing or the wrong thing? You said the right thing. I'm surprised I didn't say we telescope. Do a Let's do a happy nurse. Oh, phone again, the phone's busy today. So I'm gonna draw a line in here. Do you know what? A syringe is difficult because it's got a pointy bit on and it's really difficult to make little thin pointy things. Oh, it is out of the modelling paste. It's all sticking with stethoscope. So we're sticking with the same theme, so it's more of a, a monster nurse. <laughs> with its little wrinkly lips. I'm not suggesting that nurses have wrinkly lips, by the way. Oops. It's just so it's in keeping with our other ones. 
Oh, that's cute. That one's in a heart shape. Okay. I don't actually know if it will look right with eyes separate. Let's see. Mm, no, I think I'm going to still put them together. I think they're going to look nicer together. So let's put them over to this side here. Or maybe this one could have hands. I realise I've got little hands on some of these and I haven't done hands on these. If I haven't bored you all yet. Because I haven't even started on the... Um, Shading. Shading, have I? Oh, wait, let's give this one a couple of little... Oh, no. Mm, I've not left space to draw eyelashes. This one's going to have to have the eyelashes. It's just coming out from the sides. A little bit. Mm. No, I don't like that. But never mind, I'm going to draw a little line around the edge a little bit. Can you see how unsteady my hands are today? I did an online gym class this morning and I'm like, ugh, from working out. I don't know if you can actually see that from above. Can you see that from above? The mm -hmm. black that I've just put around the outside edge? Yeah, you can. Oh yeah, cool. That's fine then. Okay. Maybe I'll leave this one without eyelids so that you guys don't have to watch me make eyelids again. Okay. And like I say, you guys can take a lot more time over this than I have done to get a neater finish. So we're leaving that white bit in each eye again and then colouring in the rest. Also, if you find your paste is a bit soft when you're drawing on it, just give it five minutes to firm up before you use the pen on it so that you're not pressing in. It's not squashing in too much. Oh, look how much happier it looks now. It's got the pupils in. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one without the little things on top. They're looking good together. Now, we do what did its thing look like again? Using a heart. Oh, maybe I'll just stick a heart on. That's a bit lazy of me, isn't it? But <laughs> Yeah, I think the heart's fine because we've... Let's we hang on. 50 odd minutes. Okay, right. I'm just going to give it some hands quickly. So, <laughs> I feel it needs hands, right? It's going to have a little heart here. That's just, oops, just one of my sprinkles stuck on. Oh, stay. It'll stick in a minute, hopefully. Got a few people asking if this is going to be available after the live finishes. Yeah, all our, all our yeah, Facebook lives stay on our Facebook page. You can watch them back yeah. over. We've been putting them on YouTube as well, haven't we? Uh, yeah, we have. Yeah, well. so it sometimes takes a couple of days for us to get them on YouTube. So a little ball, I'm just going to squash the end, and then I'm going to roll the rest. So this is going to be too big, so I'm going to pinch that off. Almost like a tiny little spoon. Oh, somebody's got a quite a good idea for a bit of a challenge for you. What's that? Um, I hope it's an easy challenge. Well, it's basically making something that uses no Press. special equipment. So something that everybody could have in their home cupboards. Oh, so you mean like basically everything I used to do when I first started? Yeah. So when yeah. I first started, I didn't want to buy any equipment. And use a cocktail stick for everything. Yeah, it, yeah, I did. It's just that things weren't quite as neat, but yeah, but we can do that. I'm going to have the hand there holding the little heart. Let's do one at the other side. So we're going to squish the end, roll underneath. Should probably make sure it's a similar length. So it's just got short little arms. This arm's probably not going to reach the heart. So that kind of weird little shape. And then we're going to press in twice. It's not a realistic hand, but it's not a realistic character. So I don't, don't suppose it might really matters. There we go, just bring it over to just stretch towards that heart. Do you think that's all right? Maybe I'll give it eyelids later. Oh, Maybe later. Okay. So in the meantime, let's do a bit of shading. So I'm just going to pop these to one side. She's angry. Or he. She or he. Okay, let's move these to one side. So when you're dusting, oh, I'd advise putting down some kitchen roll or something because it goes on everything and it can be quite difficult to... Um, wash the dusts off the mats. Okay, you can use a range of different brushes and stuff. Let's go with the, the big easy ones. So, although these are all the same color, but you can add other colors to it as well. So you don't have to just have the same color that you've used for this. So on like the yellow one, I've got yellow, black, orange, and actually even a bit of green on there, but I put the green on because 
it was going to stand next to that one and I wanted the color to look like it was kind of coming across so that one's actually got yellow on the side that one's got a bit of green on the side then my purple one it's got purple on this side and then it's actually got a bit of the kind of turquoise that matches that on that side there I don't know how well you can see it oops I'm knocking all my letters all over the place okay I've completely forgotten what I was doing so on those ones I used these which are like my little petal palettes but if you don't have these don't worry I realize you can't even see these can you Richard I've moved them a bit far out of the way for you guys to see what I'm doing let me move all my biscuits out of the way I think I'll have to eat them to move them I've got so much stuff on the on the table okay we haven't got many of these in stock yeah we don't really have many of these left in stock we just literally got them last week um and they went, didn't they, much quicker than we thought they were going to. But don't forget, you know, you can use other things as well. So you don't have to use them. You can use the loose dusts as well. I'm going to get, so like I've got like a nice bright one there. Um, might want a bit of black, maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll give them some rosy cheeks. So I'm going to go for a bit of pink again. I don't know if you guys can actually see this. Yeah, no. So nice big rounded brush. Do you want to move it so people can see what I'm doing? Um, so that's quite a dark pink actually. You might not need it quite as dark as that. And I'm going to go for, no it doesn't show up that much does it? So maybe we'll go for the darker one. Kind of, I guess anywhere below the eyes, but to the side for like the cheek area. Is that annoying you that that's bashing on that? Yeah. It's because I've got it lent on top of the other one. Okay. See, instantly it looks nicer, doesn't it? Let's go. Zoe does love her dusts. I do. It makes a big difference. Did you all see the ones that I posted yesterday when I did the one hour challenge with Rob? And I cheated afterwards, after the one hour. Because I made like a monster. And well, we decorated. We had one hour to make things. And I decorated like the monster. Um, and I didn't get time to do much of the dusting. I've lost all my brushes. Oh, it's because you put all these pens on top of my brushes. Look, I can't find my brushes. I'm just looking for my brushes. Um, I'm going to use a flat brush. I've been using it for black. Yeah, and then when I added the colour to it, so afterwards, I just added a bit more dusting to it and it just completely changes what it looks like. It did still have dusting on the first one. I've been dusting with this brush for black, so um, yeah. I've seen it now. See what I'm doing. Okay, so with the yellow, if you want a subtle colour, yeah, it's too subtle. I can't see that one. I'm going to have to go a bit brighter. So sometimes like, I have to go for like an orange so you can see it a bit better. But can you guys see the orange showing up a bit more around the edge? Can you see it, Richard, on the yeah, thing for me? Yeah. Okay. So I'm kind of flicking from the very edge. Can you see inwards? I've not got too much on my brush. I, that's, I suppose, the advantage of the palettes is that you don't get too much on your brush at a time. So the color's not too heavy. Whereas when I use the loose powders, I get a lot on. But I still, I, the loose powders are still really good. So don't not get the loose powders, if that makes sense, because of what I'd said. When will we get more of these in, Richard? Uh, have we got some more, left or have we we've not got, got any left? a couple of the set A's, which is, I think that's set on its own. So even just around the outside edge, it looks completely different, doesn't it? But now what I want to do is darken anywhere where there's kind of a crease. Although I'm going to turn its teeth a nasty orange colour. And also like I've given it bags. So I think under its eyes, want to be made like a little bit darker. And even a tiny bit around the edge of the eyes. So we're going to go around here and this is what normally I'd just swap to a smaller brush for this little bit here to get into these little nooks and crannies. Okay, I'm even going to put a tiny bit in some of the creases. So I've drawn some little creases, can you see on the mouth here? So I'm trying to use the brush kind of this way so that the thin bit is catching those little lines. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. And then even we could catch a little bit of the eyelids either side or even just on one side if you want. So I want the eyelid to be paler in this middle bit here but darker down both sides. You just want to make sure that your pen has dried when you're doing this. 
feel like because it's a star I should have done something in a pearlescent colour really shouldn't I never mind okay and then if you want to go even darker you could go with like a black or something this is just the fractal black that I've got here I don't want too much so with the loose dust what I usually do is put a bit on my brush and then dab the extra off on the kitchen roll I'm gonna put a little bit under the bags it's had a, a late night as this star is very tired again if you don't want them to be tired you don't have to make them tired looking <laughs> just don't put the little lines under the eyes okay I'm just gonna catch a little bit on the edge of the mouth again and then anywhere that you want to darken maybe I've got a little bit more just on the edge of the eyelids here and you don't have to spend ages doing this at all and if you don't have the dust it's not the end of the world you, you can do them just with the fondant so like that one doesn't have dust on but it still looks okay it just gives them that little bit extra does add in the dust okay do you want me to try one of the nhs ones yeah, dusted okay. i think these ones are going to be just a little bit too small for me to dust but i'm happy that they look all right without dust on you seem to have had a massive jump in watches now <laughs> I've got about an extra like, hundred that's just come from nowhere. The dusting, everybody likes the dusting. <laughs> so obviously I still need to do more. I'm just going to quickly put pink on this because I don't need it to have pink cheeks. Oh wait, I didn't put enough on my brush. Yeah, I like pink cheeks. Pink cheeks on everything. Oh, that can just go over there right the way. I'm trying to put it somewhere where you can still see it so you can see I've done something in the video but <laughs> everything's kind of in the way of it. Okay this one's probably the driest in that I've got the least amount of water that still looks wet on it. I'm still a little bit there. Hmm. Okay we'll just work on all of them at the same time. Do you want to do it in NHS so then it's like not S-N-H-S? Oh, it's so funny about these things. <laughs> Does it, I could put them in the right order once they're painted up. Nope. Okay, so we're going to put pink on the cheeks. I mean, there isn't really much cheek on this one to put it on, so. And it doesn't even matter if, you know, if you want a different colour on the edge of something, then that's fine. So if I wanted to brush, say, pink on the edge of here, it would still look all right, even though it's not the cheek. You know what I mean? It just, just gives it a bit of extra something. Hmm. Still needs pink on its cheeks. So. It hasn't really got the other cheek for me to put it onto though. Okay. This one's kind of got a little bit of cheek area maybe here. I can get it on. And maybe about here or maybe slightly above. Oops, I've made the, uh, the string on the mask pink. Just see if I can wash that off with a bit of water. So it's slightly less pink. Oh, I like this one now. So this one I'll probably go I think with. I forgot the stethoscope. Yeah, we went for a heart because it was easier. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll let you off. I think it would have looked better, but um, I went for ease <laughs> and cheated. I just went for what was easy for me. This one I didn't give. Oh, I didn't give these ones bags. Nurses will be tired, right? Yes. They're working very hard. <laughs> it's not really why I was giving them bags. It was just that this particular character that I've been doing has got little, little creases under the eyes. Somebody said, can we do a chalkboard effect cake? Have we got one of those mm, a long time ago? No, I don't think I actually have. I don't ever I know we've done them for like wedding cakes and stuff for people but I don't remember doing one as a tutorial yeah, okay. we've not had anybody um so I've asked for a chalkboard one, one have we for a while chalkboard well, done, like, cakes for a while. no I know but I mean it, it wasn't even when I was doing my last consultations it wasn't something that people had sort of had for a little while I used to like the chalkboard effect the one we used to do the most of was the silver birch, wasn't it, with the weddings? That was definitely our most popular yeah. wedding cake design. Okay, so we've got a tiny bit of steam, but I think I want to go for some blue now. I don't think I've got blue in that one. Let's see if I can find a darker blue. I probably, I did actually have a loose colour blue one somewhere, but I don't know where I've put it. 
Oh, it's back to front, that's why I can't get in it. Ah, there we go, we've got a nice, nice below. So I'm just gonna try and catch, can you see the edges a little bit? Probably got my finger over the way, over what I'm doing. again with this. Maybe a little bit under the eyes and around the eyes. When I'm concentrating I talk quiet, I don't want <laughs> like I just mumble to myself all the time. Okay. Got a colourful assortment of letters here and stars. Oh, I thought you meant my NHS, I was gonna say it's only in blue. So I'm just going to, I'm trying to just catch just the bottom edge of each arm so that the arms are all just one flat blue. I should have probably swapped to a smaller brush really to do this, but that's fine. I feel like he still needs, he's missing some in this one, but I don't know what. What's he missing? Maybe it's just because he doesn't have eyelids. I don't know. So this one, the eyelids, I really want to kind of get that blue on them. So in the middle bit, so where they're kind of meeting each other, I should say, and on the outside edge. Okay, so the dusting really does make a big difference, doesn't it, to what they look like, the dusting. Got a question. Anne's asked, where did the inspiration come for these ones? Um, I don't really know. I, I needed <laughs> to, um, I mean, the little bags under the eyes are something that I've been watching, um, I don't know how to say his name right, Chris Reinach? Reinach? I, know, I might be saying artist. his name wrong, he's an artist that I follow. Um, if anybody sees my stuff on Instagram, I quite often like share stuff of his that I've like, because I've got his t-shirt, I was going to wear his t-shirt actually today, it's really cute. Um, and he draws like really cute monsters. I bought some of his artwork as well. Yeah, I bought some of his artwork for my wall at home. So I mean, they don't really look like that, do they? But the little bags and things under the eyes were something that kind of he uses a lot and I thought oh, I'll try that and see what it looks like but it was more that I was part of this um, collaboration and I got the word play we each got like a different word to make and you could do whatever you wanted with that word you could use whatever food you wanted um, so I originally planned to do it in in biscuits I just never got around to baking the biscuits for them um, and because I got the word play I thought oh it has to be something that's fun and I didn't want anything that was too complicated because I didn't have enough time on my hands to make anything that was going to take me ages and ages to do. So, and they just kind of developed as I was doing them. So like with my letter P, I don't even know if you can see my letter P. Um, it wasn't a girl at first. And then I thought, oh, the pink on its own looks a bit plain. So I was like, well, I'll give it a crown and I'll make it look a bit girlier and give it some eyelashes and little frills. And they just kind of, they develop as, as I'm doing them and sometimes I think oh yeah that turned out really well. Somebody said you could add uh, you could make one of the eyes bloodshot. I uh, could do. Uh, They'd be really tired looking. My tired looking nurse. They probably are all really tired because <laughs> they're all working so much aren't they? I was like oh I should have done letters for like everybody that's like a key worker but um, I didn't have enough time to do enough letters for that many people. Not for a demo anyway. Not, not for a demo. Um, and I guess because mine aren't actually going to someone. It would be nice if they were going to somebody, but I mean, these are on the icing, so no one's going to just want to eat the icing ones. But if you guys are making a cake or anything, these would look nice going on the cake, like whether it be on the top or on the sides, or make them in cookies and then put a bit of icing on, on the cookies themselves. Is it looking a bit better yeah, with those little bits good. of colour on? Yeah. I'm not sure I can catch that top bit there. Just trying to get a bit on the edge just here. But it's still a bit wet, so I don't know if it's gonna... Oh, she's not looking too bad. Oh, I could have actually um, just coloured in my pearls. Can I, I was looking for more sizes of pearls in blue. Have I been going that long? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll call it a day then. <laughs> so that I'm not boring you all. Um, but I could keep, just keep going. I say I could just keep going and keep going. Um, sometimes I go too far. <laughs> so I just keep going. But yeah, you can see the difference like between having a bit of colour and 
a nail color on there. And you know, you can put all the things together. Like you can have letters and shapes that all go together. Did I, fin I didn't quite finish my word thank you, did I? Oh, let me put it on the table so it looks nice together. Off my little uh, mat. This is where I break them, where I just move everything around. So we've got NHS. This is where you know that I can't spell when I miss letters out. Oh, I didn't actually ice all my biscuits. I'm going to ice them. I won't, I won't make you watch me ice them all. But um, I'm going to ice them and then I'll put them all together properly for a little picture. And then I'm going to eat those probably. But not the letters because they're just icing. So if anybody didn't catch from the beginning, um, Emily's been putting links up to what we've used in the video. Some of them are on cookies and then we've just used like a cutter that's the same to cut out the same thing. So this was more to show you that it doesn't have to be letters. So this video, did you hear my tummy rumbling then? Yes. Did you? It's, it's growling away, I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> my tummy's rumbling. Um, what was they on about again? Maybe remove the word from a play above play. <laughs> what? We don't want, we don't want well, people no, okay, we need to take a picture of We don't want that. people outside playing. I did. <laughs> yeah, I did stay safe. Um, but yeah, have a look at the collaboration that was part of and see what other things people came up with because the other guys come up with some incredible things. Like people make things with pita breads, apples, avocados, cupcakes, um, fruit and veg, bananas. There was some really good stuff, wasn't there, in the in the collaborations. Like I don't know how they do it without like their apple going brown. My apple goes brown just when I'm eating it. It takes so long to eat one, so carving one, yeah, it you, would just be brown. You are the slowest apple eater. I am. Ever. Um, I try not to eat too many of them. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. Have a look. Like I said, this, this video, I wasn't ever planning on doing anything like this, but when we when I put up the word play, it was just so popular and people wanted to know how to do it. And, and some of you guys have actually made them already, even without the tutorial. A few people have sent me images of ones that they've done the same. Um, and they, they look really good. But I thought, yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll, as well as it being letters, I thought I'll show you in different shapes and stuff so that you can see you can do all sorts. So this is easier. Because I used the cutter. I was going to do hearts as well, but I didn't take the heart um, shaped cutters home with me. So that's why there's no hearts. But I wanted to do little hearts and all sorts. But yeah. Um, and don't forget to tune in on Saturday. Is it Saturday? Uh, well, we've got a Facebook Live on Thursday. Oh, yeah, we've got another Facebook Live Thursday. Um, so again, did you just say people had said toppers? So, Kate, we've got topper as the um, number one replacement. We'll okay. have a look through comments and see what yep, they have Cool. So maybe there. a topper. Um, yeah, so that's Thursday. At the moment, it's half past 11. A couple of people mentioned... Half past 10. Half past 10. Yeah, that's right. A couple of people mentioned that um, it's not a good time because when you're obviously in different parts of the world, it's difficult to find a time that's good for everybody now. But like I say, the Facebook Live can be watched back on our page all the time. Yeah. So they are always available. Yeah. And if ever you have any questions and, and you don't get a response from us in when you put a comment below the video, it's sometimes that we get so many comments and we don't always get notified or we don't see all the notifications of everyone's comments. So we don't always reply to them. It's not on purpose. Um, so if ever you, you're thinking, oh, I've been ignored, send us a private message because we're more likely to see that than we are when you write on the wall. Um, it does sometimes take us a few days to reply because we do get a lot of messages. But honestly, just bear with us messages private messages and as soon as we see it and get a chance we will will reply um, but yeah facebook live thursday and then saturday watch out on the cake international page where i'll be doing one at, did we say 11 o'clock uh, yeah. 11 o'clock on the cake international page um molly robbins is hosting it i'll have a 45 minute demo making a face cake it's probably going to be a dog again um and then there's quite a few other people as well isn't they doing demos there is I so a virtual see. cake international yeah. Yeah, it is a virtual cake international. Yes. What were you going to say? I can't see you because I can't get to a computer to see who else is doing Oh, okay. <laughs> but it'll tell you on the Cake International page as well who else is on that. Is Emma Jane doing it that day? I think Emma Jane is as well. And Jen Rojas, is it? Jen, and yeah, Cupcakes from and Cupcakes and Counting. Counting. I've forgotten there's two days worth. We're doing the Saturday and I've forgotten who's on all the other yeah, days. Saturday, 11 o'clock over on Cake International. Yes. We will be doing a Facebook. I'll put a poster up as well anyway to remind you all, but pop over and, and have a little look at that right so thank you ever so much again for watching um hopefully we'll see you all on thursday thank you bye